And we're following breaking news that has finally happened. This is how it went down. Caitlin Clark, now the all-time leading scorer in Division I men or women's basketball. It happened with .3 seconds left off a technical. The first three free throw tied the record with Pete Maravich, Pistol Pete, and the second one passed it. Caitlin Clark now sitting at 3,668 points in her career. This is the last home game for Caitlin Clark there in Iowa as she is now declared for the draft. They said it on the broadcast, immortality for Caitlin Clark. Let's welcome in the host of the Iowa Everywhere podcast, my co-host here on HQ and also a very proud Iowan, Chris. I don't think any of us saw it happening this way. You actually almost left the room. We almost turned it off. And there she goes, breaking the record just before half. What do you make of how it went down? I, I wonder how many people, because there were millions watching this game live. I wonder how many people missed it because they thought it was halftime. The foul with .3 left, Clark kind of, uh, I don't know, runs into an Ohio State player, kind of shoves her back a little bit. They get the second one for the technical, so then Clark gets to take the technical free throw, uh, free throw shots. I know she was hoping for the logo three to break the record. She tried. I didn't think uh, this was in the cards. Uh, a technical foul shots. Did anybody have that in their props? That they, they were offering all kinds of props for how she was going to break the record today. I don't know that technical foul shots at the end of the half were on there. But what a day for Caitlin Clark and women's basketball. Really, I mean, this is um, this isn't just a women's record now. Going of course, she back. set the women's record many, many times. This is, a men's, this is a men's record as well. Pistol Pete, this has been standing for over 50 years. So so let's go on that then. I mean, they used on the broadcast immortality, and it's a little difficult. Look, they asked Caitlin Clark at halftime what she thought about it. She said that she didn't know that she was going to break the record with that shot. She didn't really know till the fans uh, absolutely went wild there. How do you try to put this into perspective, what she's done across the NCAA when it comes to basketball? I don't know that you can. Um, but she's transcended the game. I mean, just look at all the the records, whether they're uh, TV viewers, whether they're streamers watching games, whether it's the attendance at a road game. Every single game she's played this season has been sold out. Uh, gyms that never even get a quarter of the way full are overflowing when Caitlin Clark is playing all the records she set what was the note that they sent out uh last week that th the six highest rated games for six different networks are all caitlin clark related as far as women's basketball the the records that she set in the final four last year in the championship game for the amount of people that just want to watch like I, I use my mom as an example my mom has never cared about sports ever she in, in fact it's probably one of the reasons that she divorced my dad because my dad, like me, is obsessed with sports. And so he was always trying to plan everything around watching a sporting event. My mom was like, I can't do this. So like three or four years into the marriage, she's like, see ya. Well, my mom now is watching every single Caitlin Clark game from start to finish. She's planning her day and night around this. That That's the kind of impact that Caitlin Clark is having, not just on sports fans, but on, on people that never thought they would watch sports. Chris, we had time for one more question. We don't anymore because we had to go into your therapy session uh, about your parents' divorce when it comes to sports and specifically Iowa sports there. But thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Chris Hassel, a very proud Iowan. And you ask Caitlin Clark a lot of times. She talks uh, first and foremost about her teammates. And then a lot of times she says she does want to be that example for young girls, young girls from Iowa specifically when it comes to the world of sports and women's basketball. But overall, Caitlin Caitlin Clark now stamping her name in the history books as if she hasn't already, or already, excuse me, most career points D1 basketball, men or women's, passing Pistol Pete just before halftime in their game against Ohio State.